there are many things that put you at risk for tendinopathy, training volume, frequency, intensity, diabetes, muscle weakness, adiposity, genetic factors. But there's another one that's debated, tendon structure. It's debated because some people have terrible tendon structure and no pain, and some people have decent tendon structure but have awful pain. There's a poor correlation between the two. This graph illustrates the point. Just because there is poor structure does not mean that you will have pain. But what about predicting future pain? Does having abnormal tendon structure put you at risk for developing tendon pain? That's what this study asked. They said, uh, it was titled, Can Ultrasound Imaging Predict the Development of Achilles and Patellar Tendinopathy? A Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. They took 6,449 studies and weeded out most of them to be left with 17 studies for a review. They, in these studies, they looked at abnormal tendon structure on ultrasound imaging. They looked at tendon thickening, hypoechogenicity, thickness, and vascularity. So what did they find? Of 635 normal tendons, only 19 went on to develop pain symptoms. That is 3%. 3% of people who had normal tendons went on to develop pain. On the other end, of 229 abnormal tendons, 49 of them went on to develop pain symptoms. That's 21%. They said the estimate of overall risk for abnormal tendons developing symptoms is 4.97 times higher. So if you have abnormal tendons, you are five times higher to develop tendinopathy pain symptoms. So theoretically, in a sample of 100 athletes, as many as 59 of them will have asymptomatic abnormal structure on ultrasound imaging, and as few as 9 of these 59 may go on to develop future symptoms. So the question is, should you go and get imaged even though you have no pain because you want to see if this is a risk factor? That can bring about its own negatives. It can make you neurotic about your structure. Uh, you might see something that you don't want to see, especially if you have no symptoms. And look at it this way, as you increase with age and as you increase with sport involvement, you're likely to develop some tendon abnormalities because you're just overusing them. So it comes back to common sense training practices. Prepare well for your sport, manage the loads best you can, and if you want to potentially heal or change tendon structure, it's probably good to keep isometrics or slow heavy strength in year round. So hopefully that helps. Try it out. Enjoy.